my tens of viewers. Big news on the convention front. This just in. The registration for the 2011 Comic Con opens on November 22nd. As you may know, I missed it last year and vowed that this year I would attend. In fact, I made a promise to attend the following three events this year. Comic Con, Big Con, and the Beantown Tap Fest. So I am signing up on the 22nd to make sure I get a ticket. I'm not too proud to admit that I am a Comic Con virgin. Yes, I have never been to a Comic Con. So I'm asking you, my tens of viewers, for some help. Should I sign up for the whole weekend package? What's the best hotel to stay at in terms of fun? And what two things should I know about attending Comic-Con? Put your answers down there in the comments, okay? Even bigger convention news. The new logo's up, the date is set, and yes, VidCon 2011 is going to be on July 29th and 30th. There is no question I will be there this year. So I've decided to set a small challenge for myself. I have eight months to get my viewership up to a level where at least five people at VidCon will look across the room and say, Hey, look, it's the nerd chick. Now, granted, they don't have to say, I really like you. Your videos rock. Heck, you know, they could even say, You kind of suck. Which would be, you know, kind of sad, but at least they'd know who I was. And that is my goal, to have at least five people recognize me at VidCon. So here's my second question to my tens of viewers. What do you think I can do to help grow our tens? Put some suggestions in the comments below. In what has to be the greatest tease campaign ever. Okay, side note, do you know what a tease campaign is? Sure you do. You're watching television, you're eating some popcorn, and suddenly some guy from the news comes on and says, Good evening. I'm Anita Clue. This just in. Is the popcorn you're eating killing you? Tune in at 10 to find out which always pisses me off, you know what I mean? It's like, really? You just told me something can kill me and now I have to wait to see it? Kind of annoying if you ask me. Anyway, that's what they call a tease campaign. Ooh, don't you want to see the rest? Moving on. Mark Twain may have created the greatest tease campaign in history. He decided to dictate his autobiography in the form of like stories and just ramblings and it was transcribed to over 2,000 pages with lots of little juicy tidbits in there, okay? And he put a little bit out there and then said, but if you want to read the whole thing, you have to wait for 100 years after my death. This is brilliant. That, my friends, is a tease campaign. He has now been gone for 100 years and the book's coming out. New feature here on The Nerd Chick, it's What's in the Package? Every now and then I order stuff online for either work or pleasure. And it's very exciting to open it, but you know, it's nothing sadder than opening things alone. You know, that's what holidays are so much fun because everyone's around, you open things. And usually when I get these packages, I realize exactly why I think I'm a nerd. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first. What's in the package? It's my Gryffindor scarf. Now, for those of you who haven't seen the video, check the link. I kind of got muggled on my tickets for the uh, first night show at 12.01, but I've decided I'm not giving up. I will be at the 12.01 showing this evening, Deathly Hallows Part 1. Very excited. Got my scarf. And all I can say is, nerd. <laughs>